What up, boys? It's Gaz, and welcome to the Warframe video. So, we're going to be doing another Helminth video today, and my mouth has healed from yesterday. That did not take very long to heal, so I'm super happy about it. Talking normally as before. Um, yeah, we're going over another uh, subsumable Helminth ability, not one from a frame. And it's going to be called Energized Munitions, which I believe is from like rank 2 or 3 or something like that. Uh, but before we get into it, Make sure you sub to this YouTube channel and hit the bell for notifications so you can see when the videos go up. we got plenty of more Helminth vid uh, videos coming out. I might take a day or two off from the Helminth videos and do some, like, uh, farming guides and some, like, vault guides and stuff like that. Maybe even some uh, weapon build videos for the new weapons. So make sure you hit the bell notification and sub so you know when the videos go up. So maybe maybe you'll get nerfed before you, you even see it if you don't sub to the channel, guys. Keep, keep that in mind, right? Everything's going to get nerfed, so, you know, keep that in mind. Also, you can uh, follow the Twitch channel as well, if or sub to that if you want to as well, for even more uh, support on the channel. All right, so let's get into it. We'll be going over Energized Munitions, and the frame I'm going to put it on is actually going to be Mirage. Now, this ability comes from the Helmet. You, you don't take it off, off a frame and put on another one. It's just, it's always going to be in there. And what it does is it gives you 75% ammo efficiency, and it does not scale with strength. It scales with duration, pretty much. Like, the duration of the ability is what scales with duration. And nothing else about it really scales at all. So, the proper use of this will be putting on the right frame for using this ability and using the proper weaponry. You don't need to use specific weaponry, but it definitely makes a huge difference if you use specific guns. We have a gun list uh, here. So, what ammo efficiency means is it basically means that your weapon will not drain ammo uh, when you fire it. So here's the Tonkor, the Koopa Tonkor. You fire it, and there you go. Um, one shot is going to be an uh, a reload, because it's only got one in the magazine. Which, is that's just how it normally works. But if you use the Energized Munitions ability, you can fire, like, four grenades before you have to reload it. So it heavily increases the DPS of a weapon with one in the magazine like this. And if you use a frame like Mirage, who's already a weapon master, you can have 16 grenades, or however many grenades this is going to be. And that annihilates. Uh, we can just spawn some dudes in here real quick. Pause them. With all these grenades, this, this weapon is not really meant to be doing this. So, yeah, it just it blows stuff up. And I really like blowing stuff up. So, yeah, um, I'd say Mirage is probably the one of the best choices uh, for this ability. Because she does... Uh, mod for a lot of duration, and um, she is already like she. Can, I didn't even use my eclipse there to get extra weapon damage. I could have done even more damage with my Tonkor. So I'd say the Kufa Tonkor is one of the best options for this Energized Munitions uh, synergy. We're not really using much else besides that. Like you could now. Here's the thing. There's there's a, an arcane called Arcane Pistolier. Now the, what that one's gonna do is it's actually gonna make it where you get 100% ammo efficiency, but you need to jump through a hoop to do this. You need to get a headshot kill with a pistol. It used to trigger off body shot kills on pistols, but I think they fixed that somewhere down the line. Um, yeah, and that's gonna give you 100% ammo efficiency, so you can just spam that constantly. But, you know, I don't wanna have to always use an arcane slot on this. It is a good arcane, definitely, um, but this is much easier to trigger, and it works on everything immediately. It doesn't have to, like, you don't have to swap weapons, so. There's that, and then here's another fun one. So there's the Azima uh, pistol, which is like a login bonus reward. So, like I said, Whenever you fire the gun, like, it, if, you, if you don't have Energized Munitions activated, it's going to just quickly drain the, the ammo as normal. If you activate Energized Munitions, it's going to go down a lot slower, because it's like, um, just, like, there's definitely some mechanics to this. But the Azima, it's secondary fire, it's actually going to fire off a turret shot. So, um, let's wait for it to wear out. Alright, I'm going to fire off a turret shot, and it, it lasts, like, a decent amount of time. It depends how much magazine size and fire rate you have, how long this thing lasts for. So that was probably like about like, I don't know, 5-10 seconds. You use energized munitions, that thing's gonna be out for a long time. Because ammo efficiency does work on the Azima turret. So you can basically use this as a lockdown of your, uh... Like if you throw, shoot that out, it's gonna be... You're basically controlling the area for like 30 seconds. Um, and I have a modder for viral and heat, so we'll proc viral and heat in the area. Um, and as you can see, it's still out. Um, and, of course, since you're a Mirage, you can fire off multiples of those. And that area is mega under control. It might crash someone's computer if you spam this, to be honest. But, yeah, there you go. Multi-shot Riven. You know what? how to do it with Mirage. 
Um, so yeah, that's a really, really good one too. Um, damage isn't phenomenal on the Azima, but it's it's more of like a utility tool at that point. So um, yeah, let's get into. I'm gonna get some. Okay, I'm gonna go over a bunch of stuff here, but let's just get into some gameplay so it's not as boring. Me just talking to Simulacrum the whole time. I have a list of all the weapons I think are really. Good, I've tested pretty much every weapon on this, and of course, it only works for guns. You don't have ammo for melees yet. Um, this isn't this isn't Destiny where you have ammo for swords. <laughs> um, we have infinite ammo for swords in this game, and we're free to play. Actually, I think Destiny's free to play as well now. Well, whatever. Okay, so um, yeah, this is gonna be a Steel Path uh, Demos Bounty with the Tonkor, and I'm actually using the Prisma Angstrom as well. The Prisma Angstrom is a fun one with energized munitions because what that does is if you ever used the Angstrom before, it's basically a rocket launcher pistol, as you can see right here. And you char basically you hold on a trigger and it, it puts more and more ammo from the magazine into your rocket launcher. With energized munitions, the entire magazine blast, which would usually take your entire magazine instantly cause you to reload, only takes one bullet per. So that's pretty nice. Um, some other weapons that are good with this. Let's actually get the list up here. I'm going to go over all of this. Let's make this a little bit smaller just so you can see the gameplay a little bit more. Okay, so um, yeah, if you want to slow this down, go for it. Um, but I'd say the best... The best stuff for energized munitions um, is going to be the single shot weapons like I showed the Kuva Tonkor. I think the Kuva Tonkor is the best for this. Um, it becomes like a literal noob tube. You can just like spam it all over the place and blow everything up. Um, and there's another weapon like the Exorgist. The Exorgist is a shotgun that has one in the magazine as well. Uh, and that one's going to... It doesn't have great crit, but it, it's pretty good. So I, I def, you can just spam that like four or five shots before you have to reload it too. So that's good. Um, there's also the sniper rifles, like the the Vectus Prime and the Rubico. Um, now, when I was mining the Vectus Prime, you usually, like, sometimes, sometimes people will do a Prime Chamber build with one in the magazine. Um, I, I, that didn't feel as good as the uh, two in the magazine with the Vectus, so. Um, I, I know every bullet won't be Prime Chamber if you have two in the magazine, but you get to fire off, like, five, six shots before you have to reload if you have two in the magazine versus, like, three shots with uh, one in the magazine with the Vectus. So I ended up going with two in the magazine there. As you see, we're just, like, tearing through this. Like, these guys are usually really tanky, but the Tonkor just dominates them. So we're, we don't have the damage buff right here. So pretty good stuff, pretty good stuff. Um, the Rubico, you can fire off, like, probably, like, I don't know, like 10, 15 rounds of the Rubico Prime before having to reload with energized munitions. Um, so that's pretty nice, too. Uh, you can probably use that for Eidolon fights to buff your, or to, to build your combo counter faster, not to reload at all. Um, or just like in general, you could just use it for like an open world like this and just kill everything. Um, automatic shotguns like the Kuva Comb, Bora Prime, and Astilla, you can fire them for really long. The, basically, you will not have to reload the, the Kuva Comb until, like, you, you just recast the ability pretty much, and you'll, just, you'll never, you'll, you'll be able to fire it for about a couple minutes, honestly. So that's really nice. AOE explosive guns that are not the, the Tonkor. So the Zar, you can fire the Zar a lot. Like, the Zar's going to have, like, ten shots for you to reload. Um, and then the Ogress, you can, like, basically, like, if you use Nightwatch Napalm, the entire, like, map is on fire at that point because you can fire off so many. I'd say mod the, the Kuv Ogress for some fire rate if you're going to use energy munitions with it because it's a little bit slow on the fire rate and you're, you're going to want to spam it. So that's going to be really nice. And then some etc. ones. The Tigress Prime and like the normal ti all the Tigresses and stuff are really good at this because they usually the reason I don't like the Tigress at all is because it has to reload so much. But this is the opposite of having to reload. You can you can fire the Tigress off like five six times before having to reload it if you use energized munitions. Um, a lot of people would be like that isn't worth really putting an ability on your frame for it. I'd say a Mirage it is worth it, but you're right on every on other frames like I don't know I. I I might try it on like Harrow eventually, but I really like Pillage on Harrow, um, so I don't I don't know, man. Like it's fun on Mirage for sure though. She doesn't have a damage problem, and a lot of these weapons have reload issues, so this is this is great. And moving on to secondary, so like we showed the Azima, the, the turret is it lasts a really long time, and that's really fun. The Kutha Kraken and the Pandero, like those alt fires that expend the entire magazine, um, they they you can spam them, but here's the problem with that. So say for example you had eight shots in the magazine for your Pandero, and you use the alt fire. Since it's 75% ammo efficiency, you'd, you'd lose like one or two bullets in the magazine, and then after that, you push the alt fire button again, and it's only going to fire those like, like say it goes from eight to six. And that's going to only fire six bullets in the magazine. Then you're going to lose it down to four, and that it becomes like not really worth it. So those are okay, 
for a couple a couple uh, spams, but you're definitely going to want to reload eventually there so you get your full magazine back. Another fun thing here, the Athodai. The a I thought they probably thought that they they got the Athodai to not work with ammo efficiency. Oh, it does. It works with this, and it's really glitchy. We'll actually show the Athodai here in a second. Um, but like, yeah, pretty much it does work with the Athodai's alt fire, but not as good as you would hope, honestly. So um, that's enough of the gameplay. I'd, I'd say it's it's good. Like confirmed, it is pretty good. Um, so yeah, the Athodai. Here we go. So I just got my Athodai build. I got another ribbon for the Athodai, by the way. Um, so this thing, usually, like, you expend the entire magazine on the secondary fire, um, just because, like, that's how it works. Now, um, if you use energized munitions, it's gonna, it, it's just wonky. I don't know how to explain it, really. So you can use it, but it, it abruptly ends a lot, so. You can, you can spam it with the Athodai. Like, you, it, I, I don't know, is that actually even good? I feel like that's not even good. Like, it locks you out so quickly. I mean, these are level 175 gunners, of course, so. Maybe maybe you would like that in mission. I, I don't know. I haven't tried it too much in mission with the Athodai, but that is kind of nice. Um, just finishing off the list we had there. We had the Angstrom. That's my personal fave. I'll show that real quick, too. Um, the Angstrom is actually a pretty underrated weapon, in my opinion, and we've got a um, pretty decent ribbon, so... Here's what the Angstrom's gonna do. Like I said, it usually fires off all of your bullets at once. So I'll just I'll just do a test shot here. That's normal. Entire magazine gone. With this, with energized munitions, only one bullet. So I can spam a gigantic carpet bomb of rockets. It doesn't get much better than that. So, well now I can't even charge it. So there might be an issue there, but oh, it's because it's because the ability ran out. There we go. It, yeah, the, another thing about this, it has a pretty short duration, so you're going to want to um, mod for duration on the build. Okay, the Twin Roga, like I said, uh, with the Tigress, it's a pretty similar situation to the Tigress, where you can basically spam the Tigress for a little bit. Um, but, yeah, the Twin Roga is just like a secondary version of the Tigress. Don't worry about the build on the Tigress right now. I'm just showing, us how, showing you how this works. So... That is the tiger. That's six shots of the tigress before reloading, dude. That is a that is a gigantic DPS increase for the tigress. So, yeah, this is a pretty good ability in my opinion. Um, like I said, you don't you probably want to run on everyone, but if that is a playstyle that you enjoy, go for it, dude. And then like most full auto um, primaries and secondaries, like Twi Pyrana Prime, Twin Comac, uh, the Soma Prime with the new augment. We're gonna do a video on that tomorrow or next couple of days. Um, it's okay. The Prisma Garcada, you can fire the Prisma Garcada for a long time. So, yeah, there's lots of fun stuff you can do here, guys. And uh, I, I try to go over everything. There, it also works on arc guns, but um, I don't have the new arc guns yet. The uh, Mausoleum and the the Flamethrower. I have a ribbon for the Flamethrower, but I don't actually have the weapon yet. Because I, I'm trying to get rank 5 right away. So, either way, hopefully you guys found this video helpful. Um, I'd say that the, like I guess the Tonkor is the best one. Um, and then the Vectus and the Rubico are really good, too. So... You know, give it a shot. I think it's really fun on Mirage. Um, might be good, good on Harrow. Might be good on... Um, maybe on Nova? Oh, it could be fun on Nova. I might try it on Nova later. Just spam explosives and have everything slow down and exploding. Alright, I'm going to try that later. Um, you guys take it easy. More videos coming out every day on the channel. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys next time. Peace.